This is Code.org. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we're finishing up, of course, our Birds of Feather app. Here's the functionality we got. We got stuff moving around. We got some randomization, and we can click this button, but it's not really doing much because that one doesn't work. So I bet we're, yep, we're going to make it work. However, as right now, the favorite button, find five on event. That's a three, four, and now we're here. All right, so the favorite button in the home icon, use... Uh, for the favorite button, write the code that will accomplish the following. Use the append command to add a name and picture data into our favorite list. Favorite names, favorite pictures. So the favorite button, home icon, heart icon. So the favorite button is going to be what is actually used. So they're saying this is the heart icon. If we hover and it's not in run mode, I can see the ID. This is the favorite button. Okay. So append, and of course, we can just double check that we're thinking uh, kind of the same vein as them. Append just is a fancy way of saying smack something on to the end of a list. So we want to add something to the end of a list, and that is called appending something. Now, there's two things we need, and this kind of helps. We need the list's name that we want to append to. And they actually remind us uh, favorite names, favorite pictures. And that will only be the case if that's exactly what your lists are called up here, right? Favorite names, favorite pictures. So now I'm going to go way down here. Now, the tricky part is you need two of these. We have two lists, so we need to be using two different appends, favorite uh, names, and then favorite pictures. All right, now what do we want to append? We want to append to the names whatever name is currently on the screen. But mister, how do I know what name is on the screen? Ah, well, we know what name is on the screen because what would be de being displayed right here is going to be the... Let me go to update home screen, right? When we load the home screen, what gets displayed? Names.index. So the names list, whatever index we're at, that's where we're at in the list. We know that is what's being displayed. And therefore, we can use the variable and uh, the list and the uh, index variable down here, names index. And that also means then down here, that's how we can get the picture. So uh, I think it's just called pictures index. Boom and boom. That's looking OK. Let me just make sure. Yep. And so now when we hit favorite, it should add those to the list. That's looking good. Let me just hit run and see if it throws an error. Nope. Cool. Okay. And now what do we got? Test your code. Use the buttons. Click the favorite button. Yep. Changing screens. Our final step in the development of this app is to allow the user to go back and forth between home. Find the on event for heart and home icon. I wish they called those different, but fine. Favorite screen and the user should be taken to the favorite screen. Yep. We're just going to switch back and forth. They remind us we're going to use set screen here. So here's the on event for that UI controls on. So over here, I'm not actually seeing set screen, but we know it exists. So I'm just going to do that manually. I'm going to switch to text mode and type in set screen, bam. And then what screen do I want to change it to when the home icons clicked? I want to do the home screen and then set screen and then what screen am I going to want to change it to is the, we have these semicolons, the box, uh, go down, set screen, and then I'll use the arrow, the favorite screen. All right, so let's keep in mind what's happening. When I hit the heart icon, right, over here, which is this icon, this is apparently the favorites button. When I hit this icon on that click, the screen is changed at this screen to the favorite screen, which is right here. Same with home. What happens here? On the event that the favorite button's clicked, which is the ID of this guy, what happens? We append, we add to the end of the favorite names list, the name that we can see, and the favorite pictures list, the picture that we are currently looking at. I believe we might have missed one thing. Are we not using... Oh, final string. Okay. In addition, to simplify, and let's actually run again just to make sure everything's still, no errors are happening. That works. Cool. That works. Cool. I'm going to favor these guys. Boom.
Oh, I actually had an error here. There we go. And that's expected, guys, because you're not going to find errors uh, from the prior lessons, because remember, you couldn't test it out yet. So it's not shocking if you have an error, like I'm having again right here. It's... And so what I have going on here, again, it's not shocking to find errors at this point. We haven't tested favorites. So make sure you go through uh, and double check, right? I'm finding them. So, but ah, there we go. We need to subtract one from this because we don't want to go off the end of our list. And we also, I noticed up here, should have subtracted one as well. Great. And this is the benefit of debugging. Look, a teachable moment. So, all right, that's all looking good. This is all looking good. Great. Now let's go ahead. Boom. And boom. Oh, well, that was already added. Boop, boop. Go over here. Boom, boom, boom. Everything is looking good there. Okay, so now the heart and the home icons are also working, and we have a fully functional program. So, so we need to do the one last thing, which is create the all favorite string, and that's way up here. I don't know if you remember, I barely do. We have this. Use the join command to take each element of the favorites name list to put it into our string. Use hash n slash n, or the new line character within the argument of join, uh, put a character in front of each element, like, okay, so what they're saying here, guys, is if I favorite a few of these, and I go over here, notice no text appears. Oh no, we broke something. We did not break something. So what we want to do is way down here, way down here, when they click on the heart icon, we can go ahead and join all those together. We don't have to use join at the same point right here, because join just grabs the entire list and creates a string from it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to variables. We already have our variable made. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll throw mine here. And then that was all favorites. And what is that going to be equal to? Well, it's going to be equal to favorite, favorites, favorite names. Woo, close one there which is the name of our list dot join. And now how do we want to, what do we want to put in between here? So what are we going to join it with? They want a new line character and mm, I don't know. I might do a star and a space. I'll see how that looks. Might change my mind. Let's take a shot at this. Ah, interesting. And so doing it like this, notice that my first one is not going to have that character. So what I can do is, joop, I'm just going to go show text, because I would really like the first one to have it as well. So let's do some magic. Whoop. Uh, um, and I'm just going to put this in quotes, because it's a string value. Show box. And now, did I put a space after this? I also put a space before it. You can choose your spacing and your characters and whatever you want here, of course. Ta-da! And now, we have a fully functional complex I hope you're proud of yourself. I hope you had a bit of fun and yeah, onward.